going on YouTube, it's your boy Galway, back once again for another reaction. This time, I am bringing you Fresh 32's Daily Duffy. This is from Season 3, Episode 1. This is Redemption. Um, it's six years old. This is, I think it was the earliest one I could find. I had a quick look. I couldn't see any older. So, I'm pretty excited. Everyone is saying that it is better than Swiss. And that was... That's going to be very, very, very hard to top. For me personally, that is that is like the kind of hip-hop that I, I really enjoy probably the most, other than storytelling, is, is when people just bar out like that. It wasn't ridiculous flow-wise, but when it comes to schemes and like just punchline and bars, that was like honestly relentless. Quickly put my phone on silent, sorry. So I'm pretty excited. I've done a couple of Reg32... I don't know, is it Wretch 32 or Wretch 32? I don't know. Let me know is it, if it's 32 or 32. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pronounce it wrong. Gotta put some respect on his name. <laughs> um, yeah, as always, massive love for love and support. If you do wanna connect with me in any way, there is my social media bar. Send me a follow, send me a message. I get around to them all eventually, sometimes. Takes a couple of days, but I do get there. Um, that's about it, really. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe. Plenty more coming. Plenty more coming. I have I have gone back to just the one upload a day. I think it's a bit better for me. Um, until I can, you know, do this more permanently. I think one a day on top of a full-time job is probably the most... I can do maybe on the weekends I can pump out too, but during the week, a bit of a big ask. So I'll just try and stay consistent, literal daily uploads, at least one a day is what I'm aiming for. Might give myself a day off here or there on a Saturday if I go out, get on the source with the boys or whatever. You know how it is. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. Rich 32 Daily Duppy. GIM Daily, Daily Duffy. Bucky looks young. Retreat 2, of course. He just announced his name. Retch 3 2. That's what I heard. Retreat 2, of course. Retch 3 2. Okay, boom. I've got it. Retch 3 2. It's not Retch 32. Retch 3 2. Renowned. Check me out. I say we are who we are. But rare if you add an R. But you see that I don't care with that letter on the start. When he's R. <laughs> this beat is fucking phenomenal already. That bass in the background. The... <sighs> That's disgusting. I fucking love that. But that bar. We are who we are. We're rare. If you take away the C, replace the R, whatever, whatever the fuck that was, that was techy as. I say we are who we are. We are who we are. But rare if you add an R, but you see that I don't care with that letter on the start. When he's R, you feel it in your heart. But if you end up on a channel, you might end up in the charts. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. If you end up on a channel, you might end up on the charts. If you... That's literally him saying, if you end up on a TV show or something like that, MTV, whatever the fuck it might be. I don't know what you you watch over there in the States. Um, all I know is in-betweeners, Hot Boy, Peaky Blinders. I can't see Wretch 3-2 being on Peaky Blinders. I can see him being on Top Boy. But yeah, what he's saying is pretty much, you know, if you want to get on the charts, you kind of need to be... On a TV show, you need to be mainstream, you need to have that mass appeal. Which sometimes when something is mass appeal, it generally isn't the best. It's not always the case. Not always the case, of course. But majority of the time, what the mainstream likes is doesn't tend to be what I really enjoy, personally. You feel it in your heart, but if you end up on a channel, you might end up in the charts. CH, them letters pull apart, but if you clock the line before, you probably stop rewind and pause. Of course, I'm on course, 
irony. So you are currently entering the source. The source. Never mind, see, I'm sticking with my end, so forever never shines. Forever on my. <sighs> okay. Never mind, see, I'm sticking with my end, so. Again, I fucking love this delivery here. Um, Swiss did it last night. Where he did that, had that little pause before he came into his next part, and I really fucking like it. It it's something that I like to call mood control in a track. It gives you like this. It gives the track kind of room to breathe, and you can just kind of sit there for a second. You like you breathe, and then you go straight back into it again. I really, I really fucking enjoy those. In the source. The source. Never mind, see, I'm sticking with my end, so forever never shines, forever on my grind. I gave her the D, she had to grin, said I'm a G whenever I'm in. Oh, I sweet four sugars in my tea. What was that? I gave her the D, she had to grin. This is techie as fuck. Said I'm a G whenever I'm in. Oh, said I'm a G whenever I'm in. Four sugars in my so he's, he's making rhyme schemes just from a word. I gave her the D and then he goes grin. Could also be taken as grind, as as you see. But then he goes, she says I'm a G when I'm in, which is obviously just more letters of that word. It's a really fucking smart scheme. <laughs> really fucking smart. Ah. To grin, said I'm a G whenever I'm in. Ah. Uh, I sweet four sugars in my tea. G ain't trying to give you grief. Me, I'd rather keep it brief. With free chicks, roll. I'd rather keep it. I'd rather keep it brief. Hold on. I'm EG ain't trying to give you grief. Me, I'd I ain't trying to give you grief. grief. With free chicks rolling to mystique. It's funny how they've heard me rap, but they ain't never heard me speak. Free chicks rolling to mystique. So that's like almost an ode to himself. Rolling two, three, two. Okay, this is this is fucking so tech. This is very, very tech. With three chicks rolling to mystique, it's funny how they've heard me rap, but they ain't never heard me speak. Prices, I'm kind of shallow when I'm deep. I thought to tear apart the group like if Sabrina sue the leash. See, words are so powerful. That's why fuck sounds the same when you take out the vowel, throw in the towel, and if you. Oh, what was that? That's why fuck that sounds the same when you take out the vowel, you. That's why fuck sounds the same when you take out the vowel Throw uh. in the towel And if you're front row up in Savile You might see me with Simon in my cowl See I'm allowed Is that a fucking Simon Cowell bar? Is that, is that what I just heard? No fucking way you front row up in Savile You might see me with Simon in my cowl That was the Simon Cowell bar You're fucking kidding me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> and if you front row up in Savile, you might see me with Simon in my cowl. See, I'm allowed and allowed. Niggas over six feet tall, so why would I want to crouch? I'm in the Q in the Q7. I'm in the range with them red levers. The G wagon with some good fellas. I'm in Madrid, keeping it real. They think they're on my heels, but W's got them wheels. I'm biggie rolling like I'm with puffing them in the film. Ain't ironic when I'm eating my company's. That beat switch was really nice as well. It was only very subtle. I don't know if it's going to last. But as soon as he mentioned Biggie, the whole beat switched. And it went to a real 90s vibe. Which I'm sure is 100% on purpose. But it was very subtle. It's it's <laughs> it's not like a an overbearing hip-hop beat. It's very subtle. It's a nice little change, though. I'm biggie rolling like I'm... It real. They think they run my heels, but W's got them wheels. I'm biggie rolling like I'm with puffing them in the film. Ain't ironic when I'm eating my company's worth a meal, dealing before the deal. Ironic when I'm eating my company's worth a meal could also be taken as my company's worth a meal. <sighs> what the fuck is in the water in the UK? Peeling before he pills. Eating my company's worth a meal, dealing before the deal, peeling before he pills.
pills. Nigga was on the pill, now he's pleading to get a pill. Uh, this is my redemption. Jamie Foxx playing Tookie Williams, but Arnie ain't winning this election. Center of attention. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger bars as well. Come on, bro. Playing Tookie Williams, but Arnie ain't winning this election. Center of attention. Like I ripped out of the belly with a mic. That's the MC section. Virtue of a veteran. I can write you off with the same hand. I can turn a pen to a pension. Also, independence. I can write you off with the same hand and the pen to a pension. To a pendant, a diamond and a pen to a pension also independence to a pendant a diamond i see my net worth and my reflection used to be a student at a game on suspension now i'm like the best teacher this is fucking there's levels to this there is like literal levels and i know that a lot of this is like going over my head right now but i know this is something that i would need to actually sit here four or five times to listen to before I even start to get a grasp on what's happening. There are fucking levels to this, and I know it. I fucking know it. Like the independence pendant. I know there's more to that. I know there's so much more to it. Used to be a student at a game on suspension. Now I'm like the best teacher for them freshmen. 20 Used to be the student, a student of the game on suspension. Now I'm a teacher for these freshmen. What the fuck is he saying there? He's saying... I was a student of the game, but I was naughty, I was misbehaving. And now, I'm the master of my craft, and I'm able to teach these young dogs how the fuck you get to where I am. Again, really fucking smart. It's just really good writing. It's, it's just good lyricism. It's a, it's a good scheme as well. Like, you take that take into account, that's, that's just like a high school school scheme. Heard a game on suspension. Now I'm like the best teacher for them freshmen. 20k for a feature, no questions. Answer, nigga, I'm just reaping my blessings. Sign of the cross when I signed on the dot. So how the hell can they think that I ain't writing with God? See, I'm writing with God with a Bible and shots, and they'll call it suicide if I fire at the top. Still, they fire at the top. Ooh. <laughs> they'll call it suicide if I fire at the top. Saying pretty much, I'm at the top. I'll kill myself if I take shots up above. Man, man, <laughs> fuck me. Shots and they'll call it suicide if I fire at the top. Still they fire at the top. Feather bullets can't cut me. If Nadal loses one match, he's still one seed. If you beat me one nil when I won the league, should we scream about your win or my victory? Ironic how. So. This one is him saying, if you beat Nadal once, he's still the number one seed. You're not going to knock him off that perch. If you beat me, you might win. But I'm the one that still in the end claims the victory when I come back. When I won the league, should we scream about your uh. win or my victory? Ironic how Mr. Free Two's become the one to be. Hand on my heart, I thank you for putting trust in me. See, that's a fucking a simple bar too. Ironic how Mr. Three Two's becomes the one to beat. That's just like a a nice a, a scheme on numbers. Like three, two, one becomes the one, two beat. It's fucking genius writing, man. I see I see why you call him the goat. How Mr. Free Two's become the one to be. Hand on my heart, I thank you for putting trust in me. Even though I cheat on the fame, I still love the scene. If you ain't feeling my rain, then send the sun for me. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Again, another bar. If you ain't feeling the rain, then send the sun for me. Try and burn me off. Fuck, man. This is from LizzyClothing.com. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Shallow when I'm deep, I feel to tear apart the group. Oh, okay. I need to go and listen to this a couple of times, which I'm going to do after I finish recording this, but I know there's levels to this, and I know I miss shit, because that's how genius this cunt's writing is, and I know it. I fucking know it. And I know it's going to be almost like Swiss's, 
his writing was a little bit easier to understand, but I know what he wrote is a lot deeper. But Swiss just fucking hit you with punchlines. But personally, I still liked Swiss's more because it's so easily consumable, even for an outsider like me. Whereas this, this is definitely more intellectual. And I think this is something that over time you come to appreciate more. I still think this was fucking fantastic. It was well written, well delivered. Everything about him, everything about Red Street 2's Steez is just like, it's almost like he doesn't give a fuck, but at the same time, he knows how fucking gangster he is. He knows how good he is at what he does, which is, it's almost a weird humility. <sighs> I fucking love you cunts over in the UK. Honestly, I can't get enough. As always, though, if you did enjoy that reaction, you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn the bell notifications on. Hit me with a DM. Let me know what else you want me to react to. I've got... um, What else is there coming? Cadets, Daily Duffy. I'll, this is the order that's going to be happening. Cadets, Daily Duffy. H is Daily Duffy. Avelino's Daily Duffy. And then we're going to go do another vote again, and we're going to see what you want out of some fire in the booths. I think it's the best way. It's probably the way I'm going to do it all from now on. Unless there's a new song that comes out and I'm like, I need to get this done now. And then maybe, maybe I'll try and squeeze in some old stuff in between there. Like, I've still got the Chip and Bugsy beef to go through. I've got, I've got so much music to catch up on. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. And it, it's taken all my strength every day for me not to listen to this shit. But I know that you just want to see my reaction. You want to see me try and digest these bars. I fucking love doing it and I fucking love you here. For all your support. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.